Retiring Vern Lundquist returns to March Madness, reveals how he met his wife. The veteran sports news broadcaster Vern Lundquist has the record of broadcasting 20 different sports for CBS. Vern has been an integral part of the broadcasting community for the past 53 years, and on December 2016 Vern retired from his job. But shortly after retiring he returned to his previous job as a broadcaster. CBS's broadcaster Vern Lundquist returned for March Madness in March 2017 as CBS and TNT needed their employees the most. While broadcasting the game, he took the basketball on his face, when West Virginia's Tavon Myers hit a carom as a warm-up shot. I went out and tore his jersey so he had to change to no. I'll see all of you during March Madness, and I'll yell at you from the 16 Tower at the Masters. In December 2016, CBS Sports announced that Vern Lundquist would not be the voice of play-by-play -play of the SEC on CBS following his retirement on December 10, 2016. However, Vern would continue to fixture, CBS Sports covering major events in college basketball and golf. Vern highlighted his most significant years while being a part of SEC on CBS. Cherishing the height of the career, he said. Being a part of the SEC on CBS since 2000 has been the most significant assignment I've been given in my more than five decades in this business. Now, it's time to step back and take in the aroma of those tulips, those roses, and those daffodils that friends have been telling me about for years. In 2017, I'll happily step aside from college football and welcome Brad to the booth. Vern continued, I've known Brad for more than 30 years and have always admired his work ethic and his on-air presence. He shares the same passion for college football that I do. The SEC on CBS is in great hands. Brad and Gary will form a great partnership in the years ahead. Moreover, chairman of CBS Sports Sean McManus spoke volumes about the contribution of Vern and said. Vern has set the standard for college football broadcasting, together with Gary Danielson, he has played a key role in making the SEC on CBS the highest rated college football package in America. After an incredible 17 years, he will be handing the reins off to Brad, who in his own right is highly acclaimed and respected as one of the premier play-by-play -play broadcasters in the business. I am very pleased that Vern will still have a prominent role in our college basketball and major championship golf coverage. We are fortunate to have one more football season to appreciate Vern's one-of-a-kind storytelling as we pave the way for a seamless and smooth transition to Brad. Vern Lundquist met his wife Nancy Lundquist in an upscale bar, Dallas in 1980. The pair got married two years later on, April 8, 1982. 